hold up. You, you, let's finish talking. I said, no, no, that's all right. You already told me you're going to suspend me, but you don't want me to transfer. You just want me to get myself together. School was going into the Big East next year, mm -hmm. right? And most of the freshmen we got in my sophomore year, like I talked to the parents, they all would act. It was crazy because we had a guy, Eric Clark. Eric Clark was one was the best big we had, well, close to. Mm -hmm. Then he ended up killing the next year when I was gone. His moms was was like, Oh, you going to, and his father, you're going to be here because they keep telling us that they think you're going to you're going to come out early and you're going to leave. And I'm only sending my son to play with you. I said, No, nah, I ain't going nowhere. But at that point, it didn't. You know, I didn't mm -hmm. realize how they were viewing the situation because we did have a lot of scouts coming. My, my right, right. Career, there was a lot of energy. Played, a lot of energy at this time, A10 was top five conference in the country. We had right. five, five teams in top 25 religiously. Right. So. I'm not realizing how they're looking at me now with this. It kind of, I guess, in their eyes, it might have took steam off or whatever if I was trying not realizing that I'm enjoying the situation. I'm getting love now. I'm getting the love I ain't getting when I was in high school. I was killing it. Wasn't nobody talking about me when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm on, I got the commercial, we got commercials. You know, it's, yeah, you know, it's a lot of attention. It's a lot of attention. My people, my grandmas, my mom's getting to come see me play. My the hood is, right. is, is coming out. And so, in front of the AD, I said, let me, let me call my mom, call my mom. I said, listen, mom, um, I'm out of transfer. <laughs> she said, why? I said, they just told me they're going to suspend me, but they don't want me to transfer. I said, so I'm a, but they don't want me to transfer, but I'm going to just say I'm going to transfer, you know, because in my eyes, I was like, it's one thing if you're coming at me. If we would have had this conversation before that happened, mm -hmm. right, and you're telling me, I need you to get yourself together this, then, and third, I'm a, you take it different. Mm -hmm. But now, after that, after what happened with the whole, the whole thing was what the president said, and now it became a hit. Now I'm like, yo, hold up, what? Right. I said, all right. But what they did, what they did, which I, which was crazy, because I guess they felt that they were gonna let the last laugh. If you don't release somebody, they gotta sit out two years. But they called every school possible. It was so crazy that the Tiny Archibald and Tony Mathis from, from Kennedy. Yep. Were both trying to Can't help me. Ballers. They both were trying to help me um, transfer. And Tiny Archibald and Johnny Mathis told the guy that was helping me, my man Milton Cullen, the Montreal Riverside, ain't nobody helping me now. Um, he says, they like, yo, this, I never seen anybody black, well, not a kid like this. Mm -hmm. Like they trying to box me out of every step. Kamani, was at um, Utah. Mm -hmm. He calls, yo, listen, man, I got the coach right here. They want you to come. Somebody gonna sit up there. I'm going to visit. I'm on, I'm in the airport. I'm gonna check my bags, mm -hmm. right? I get the call. You know, you, you get the um, page. The, you got a page, Charles Jones, please come to the such and such desk. I go mm -hmm. to the desk. I'm like, hey, what's up? Is everything all right? He said, oh, we got a phone call for you. He said, listen. If you can't get your bags, we'll send them back. But you can't, you can't come on this visit. The president of the school. Somebody called the athletic director and the president of Utah that fast and, wow. shut, and shut it down. Shut, shut it down. Shut, shut it down. <coughs> Excuse me, and shut it down. So then now, at the time I'm in limbo. But right. I ain't panicking. I'm playing. I'm playing and stuff. It's, it's Brooklyn though. It's Brooklyn. You know, I'm, I'm playing. I'm just running, running around playing. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to stay in shape. Do that. And the crazy thing is, is you got Harlem Week, which isn't as much as a big thing as it was. This is then. Golden Hoops. You're talking Grand Tune, 125th Street, all the energy. I'm going to Harlem Week. Yeah. Right? I'm going up to Harlem Week. And before I could even get on the train, I bumped into my man Ray Haskins, who I knew ah. since a kid. He was like, listen, I just got the job at LIU. I want you to come. I said, say no more. You want me to come? He said, come on Monday. I'll be there. So now I'm really, now I double back to the P's and go get some of my friends. Like, yo, listen, it's on. So I'm about to go to LIU. Yo, come on, we all going up there. I, then I bump into Mike Campbell, who's from two blocks away from me. Ah. So you got my you got my buildings, you got Boys and Girls High School in the next block. With and Mike was at, at Westchester at the time? He was at Westchester Community College. Yeah, he was at Westchester. Cooking. So you got, you got, you got, Boys and Girls High School, you got Fulton Park, mm -hmm. and you got his buildings. 
you go another block, a block and a half, you got Brief White, which got my man Trevor Diggs, Trey Diggs, Fab, Fab mm -hmm. the Rapper, yep. a bunch of them. Actually, Mike Boynton is from right across, but actually right next to right. the high. Coach at Oklahoma so, State. We, we call it Spur Village. Yep, yep. Um, so it's crazy. I bump into Mike Campbell, I see Rich Parker, and then I see my man um, Greg Harden. We, oh, I see them all up at Grants too. I'm like, yo, what's good? <laughs> Mike was a no brainer. You recruited that. I said, Mike is Ray Haskins. I already knew Mike, Ray, Ray Haskins. He was with it. Ray Haskins called him done deal. It was easy for Rich. Mm -hmm. You know, he got into that Rich situation. Had his little situation. Yep. And then Greg, he was at St. Louis. I'm not sure what was going on, but he like, home. Oh, Y'all was good. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of just happened that it, quick. That fast, we all said, yo, listen, we all going to do it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. I was going to do it regardless. Mm. You know, I didn't really have a chance. I, well, actually, I did have a choice, uh -huh. and this is what I skipped. I could have went to, um, it was a, a couple schools, mm -hmm. told the dude <coughs> that was advising me um, to go to LA City Juco. They had a line up for me to go to LA City Juco for a year. I wouldn't have played, I just mm -hmm. had to work out. But I was going to stay with somebody. Because, of course, if I'm playing, right. if I'm playing, it's different. But yeah. if you can't play, they just helping out. Right. But I was like, yeah. I'm gonna go to LA, I can't play, I'm just gonna be working now. Like, they ain't gonna care about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I just didn't trust it, so it was they made the best sense to uh, So so obviously you talk about what oh before I cut I mean, I mean, you hey, listen, you crazy, gotta get your it's an assistant right. coach that teases me about it. The kids know it's an assistant coach right. that teases me about not making a move, not transfer when I was at Rutgers and not making that move. Mm -hmm. Because they kind of I think Connor was trying to, you know, that's something that I'll talk about another time. But they were kind of setting the table. But I just didn't trust trust it to happen. Okay. And still, I'm 44, and every time I see him, he's still teasing me about it. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna say. But, but you obviously have a great career at LIU. Mm. Uh, win the scoring title for NCAA two years in a row. Mm. What is it like for you knowing that all of the stuff that you've been through, you now have an opportunity to play in the NBA? I'm gonna be honest, man. If you talk to anybody that knew me personally, mm -hmm. my friends, or dudes that didn't even, wasn't my friends, that just mm -hmm. had to deal with me, whether playing against me or whatever, I always told them I was going. And so you knew? I just was, like I'm playing against the dudes in high school, dudes in high school, right? right? Then you get to college, I played against Eddie Jones, Ann McKee, mm -hmm. countless other dudes that ended up being in the league. Mm -hmm. Then they, all, all the dudes are like the guys are there. The scouts are there, the GMs are there. And then I'm, you know, I'm watching on TV and I'm like, Shh. you already know. I just feel like it's it, it's a no brainer. And I don't know if you want to call that cocky or confident, but I was. It's just probably like, a little bit of both, right? Yeah. So here, here go my charge, John Silver. You ready for this one? Yeah. So we playing in Orchard Beach. Mm -hmm. Team Black Butter mm. against TMP. Mm. We get into it, we hoop it, we hoop it. You throw the ball at me, mm. right? Sound like a typical Charles Jones thing. So here you go, I'm like, yo, it's too throw it. We in the Bronx, yeah, yeah. right? So we get into it, get into it, get into it. Nothing happened, right? Mm. They break it up. Two weeks later, we playing Forest. Yeah. Same thing yeah. happened. Yeah. Throw the ball at me. I said, yo, this dude really. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you play. Yo, but look. At the end yeah. of the day, Cause it's love now, but always. at the moment, yeah. I'm like, like, what's this thing? This is like, yeah. But people didn't realize when I watch you play and I mm. know, it was like, it could go there, it might not go there, but I'm just trying to get an edge. Yes. Like, I'm trying, you know what I mean? It's crazy because I seen, you know, they do the whole lines where kids shake hands. Yeah. And I was at the game and they asked the kids shaking hands. I didn't do that before the game. Right. Like, I don't care if I was playing against my brother. I, if it, I was taught if, my, if it was my mother, if right. she, I don't care if she got high heels on, I'm sorry after the game. Right. We could be cool after the game. Right. We can't be cool before And we should dance after the game. Yes, we can't be cool before the game. We right. can't be cool during the game. I can't, like, my brother, and it's crazy, I love this from my brother. My brother told me I played the best when I was angry. Mm. So I had to find. A reason to, to be a reason back. A reason to want to play. Like, somebody could be yelling, yo, yo, lock him up. He, like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I'll be from crazy. Like, what? Look, 
you serious? Let, let, you serious? And then you might have a whole conversation like, over here with him. My, my man Jamal Robinson. Jamal Robinson went there. That's my guy. That's my dude. I love yeah. J-Rob. Mm -hmm. I love J-Rob. He's at McClancy. They got the steam. They coming to play us. Mm -hmm. I went for about 40 something this game, but the whole game I'm arguing with his father <laughs> in the crowd. I'm arguing his father in the crowd the whole time. Like, yo, what? <laughs> right, right. His brother's there Still too. And, and that's a. I've seen you do it. I've seen Speedy do it. Very few people can actually have a conversation, who yeah. talk to the crowd, talk to the team, mm -hmm. and still stay within the confines of the game. You know that throw a lot of people off. Yeah, absolutely. So, so obviously now, bringing it full circle, so much success with the Lightning, EYBL, coaching, and now this juggernaut that is OSF. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, what, three years, four years, and top number one in the grind session rankings, mm -hmm. Top 25 USA Today at one point, a uh, bunch of Division One players, man. Like, what does it feel to be like a part of s starting something that's like groundbreaking in the city and around the country? Oh, man, I mean, it feels great. And most, most importantly, because I was a short, I was a kid, I went through the, I went through this. Right. But I didn't have somebody that I could relate to. Like, they got people that they can relate to, they can right. talk to. The same way you say, we talk about how that happened. You see them go through some of the same stuff mm -hmm. you see them doing, and it's crazy because at the same point in time, you see us having fun. Yes. And, but I didn't have that buffer where people could realize that I was who I was, that I was, you know, I was a good person. I just, you just had when, I, when I play, that I'm all the way there. <laughs> I'm all the way there. Now, I'm just saying, when I'm playing, I'm <laughs> all the way there. It's whatever. Yeah. But then after the game, you know, it's almost like the Incredible Hulk, David Banner. After the game, I'm David Banner. Right. I'm all right. You know what I mean? And you see them. You might see them talking. You mm -hmm. see them having fun. You see them do little, little certain stuff because they, it's... But they, you also speak their language. Absolutely. And you can relate absolutely. to them. And you can speak from a perspective is mm -hmm. like, whatever you're doing, I've been there. Mm -hmm. I led the country in scoring. I played in the NBA. I've been around the best. Like. So what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. So you're either going to listen or you're going to learn the hard way. Mm -hmm. And obviously kids going to challenge because that's what they do. Absolutely. Just like you spoke to earlier, you know, you encourage that, yeah. right? That no, back absolutely. And absolutely, because we have that. And it's to the point where, because you might have seen, people might have seen me arguing with boss. People might see me yelling at, I yell at Jay Cohen all the time. I get mm -hmm. at these dudes all the time. And part of that is because in wanting them to be special, and I want them to be special. There's a certain level of expectation. You, know, you got challenges. Some people is, hey, yo, son, you nice. Yeah, you all right. <laughs> but I want them to, I actually want all of them, every last one of them to be better than me. And it's one thing, and this is how I've always been. Mm -hmm. I still get my sandwich cutting for us. It's one thing when you put a chain on. Mm -hmm. right? It's one thing when you go cop a car. But it's different when you got when you could see your people, when you involved with seeing some dudes come up and they shine mm -hmm. and them put some stuff on. Like when I was out and about and I was playing, people I don't know what people used to think. They might have thought it was a gang, entourage, whatever. They would know, but it was family. I remember I got, I got different neighborhoods. I remember Queen Pin and Nas at the games and the home game. I remember I got, I got different people that come together that's cool, still cool to this day. Mm -hmm. And everybody. It's one thing when say you go somewhere and do it and Dude got the bottle and everybody got glasses. When everybody got bottles, it's different. it's different. So now, when you fast forward and you got the kids, and you got kids that people would gave up on. Like I seen, I seen my man posted me um, about dudes posting mixtapes mm -hmm. and what about offers. I don't mm -hmm. really get on there and post too much about the kids offers. Mm -hmm. I post their mixtapes. I'm not a fan of mixtapes, but I post their mixtapes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And because they should be celebrated, especially some. We got Dylan News in the B division. Sacred Heart. We got there's plenty of dudes that seen him or didn't want to do anything with him. And like I played with Kenny Kings, and somebody told Kenny Kings not to deal, not to um take me. Mm. Don't deal with me. So I know how to say King. Absolutely, I love that dude. He's like a father to me. Um, so now I got these dudes that dudes would tell dudes to tell you, yo, I don't know about Posh. 
or Jaquan. I don't know about Jaquan. You know, I don't you know about, about Dylan. Yeah. Like I, and this is nothing against Shana and Dan. And then I'm um, Shana. I mean, yeah. Shana. She had to do with Dana. Mm -hmm. But I argue with them. Not argue, but I had to keep telling them, nah, son, we need Dylan for the circuit. And right. Look, it turns into, because, and they understand. Yeah, but that's the, we that's, were this. Yeah, yeah. We were this, and it's no nothing better than when you watch something come up. Then it's one thing when it's your kids, mm -hmm. you know. But when when you could, when it's against somebody that has no, they they have no business. They mm -hmm. don't gotta listen to you because other people are telling them they it already. Mm -hmm. But then when they listen and you see it come alive, you are like mm. that manifests. It. So we are gonna have some mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. Toughest person you ever played against. Come on, son. You played the league. Yeah. You know what? She probably going to best eye. So no, 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 no. I am. <laughs> I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a combination. Oh, here we. I said no, one person. No, I gotta one go person. combination because there is no one person. I can't do that. I can't do that. There is one. person. See, Brooklyn always take over the show. You know? Nah, this ain't taking over the show. This playing homage. Get yours off. This playing homage. Get yours off. Playing homage. I'm gonna be honest because it's it's there's there's people like perfect example. You got Ross Strickland. Okay. Ross Strickland is somebody, like, that's one of the few people on this earth I've been on the court with that I've never talked shit to. So respect level. I'm just saying. You're, okay, not just okay, that. let's it's, respect it's, Ross. It's different, it's different when you come down, you come down, right? Mm -hmm. You hit you hit three threes, bing, 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 mm -hmm. right? And you like, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Then he tell you, yo, yo, good job, yo, fuck, yo, good job, yo, it's on the court, yo, yo, way to get up doing your thing, man, yo, I'm just, it's raw, love it, it's raw, so I'm like, oh, hi, he said, but watch this, <laughs> he come down, and he get three and ones, uh -huh. he get three and ones, this and is in an NBA game, yes, we wow. playing the, we playing the, we playing the Wizards, I'm with the Bulls, we playing the Wizards, at the Wizards, he gets the three and ones in the row, mm -hmm. mind you, right, mm -hmm. Now, hold up, I twisted it because I hit a three, he came in, I hit the three. So I hit the three, he came in, got the M one. Mm -hmm. I hit the three, he came back down, got the M one. We turned it over, he came back, got the M one. You understand what I'm saying? So now we down, well, we was down three. Mm -hmm. We down three, we come back down. We got, somehow we ended up with the ball out of bounds. We call the timeout, drop the play, I gotta keep the ball to Tony Kukoc. Mm -hmm. So he comes to me. I could have pulled, dude kind of on me. Mm -hmm. But normally I would have pulled, but right. the play say go to boy. So I kick the ball to boy. He shoots the air ball, and Raw hit me with the man, don't worry about it. They gonna say it's your fault, but it ain't. Right, so I'm like, mm. so I'm caught up. So I ain't really like, how the hell they gonna blame me? I ran a play, we get in the Yo, you should have shot the ball. Yo, I said, <laughs> yo, you told me to get it. You just hit two. So I'm like, yo, damn. That's love, though. I should have, I should have fired that, but it was love. But just watching him, when you, it's different. It's one thing. To like I was it. aggressive. You got somebody who's they're like when they say passive aggressive, the boy was passive aggressive. He could do it when he's he wanted killing. To. Yes, he was running the play and just hold up, <laughs> just lay <layer. laughs> up. Boy, finger roll from his kneecap. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right, favorite teammate you ever played? Hold up, before I go to favorite teammate right, I ain't played, right, right, I gotta right. get my man Junie, my brother. First of all, first of all, my brother. Junie Sanders, okay. First of all, my brother. King of New York. And Junie Sanders, because they, they like brothers. Mm -hmm. So it's hard when you're playing against your brother. Okay. Like, I, you just can't, like, you can't, it's a different type of steam that I can't, I never could get to that balling point mm. with them or like Shay Shan do. Mm. Because it's just too much love. Like I'm looking at this dude, and it's just different. Mm. It's just different. I played against Junior in Argentina, and the first shot he was going to shoot, I tapped him on his elbow. Like yo, hold up, man, you gonna shoot the elbow? You ain't about to. It's just different. You know right, what I mean? Right. It's different. And those are like some of the, the the few dudes. Like I was in sports in in Sports Illustrated when they was putting Soul in the Hole out. They asked me. If I was the best at this point in time, I felt like can't nobody. I still can't feel like can't nobody fuck with me. But mm -hmm. it's, it's, I'm shouting all these dudes out. Mm -hmm. I with a horse, and you go to any hood, they might say this person, that person, and they put a couple of names in. But I mean, there's certain dudes that I got that respect for. So I can't say I don't think I talk too much trash for somebody to have gotten at me like that, and nobody speak on that. Mm -hmm. 
So, but it's dudes that I've seen and I've been on the court and I'm like, damn, like Rod, Jimmy, my brother. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, it used to be to the point they'd be like, yo, hold up, son, don't stand over there, I got you. Last question. Mm -hmm. You coming down the court, five seconds left, you got the ball, you can't shoot it. Mm -hmm. Who you giving it to? My arm must be broke. <laughs> you, must be you, can't, broke. you can't shoot it. Well, we need you, two or three. We just need a bucket. We just need a bucket. We need a bucket. It's five seconds left. You got to give it up to Can't somebody. You shoot or they got to score. However, they going to score. Who you giving it to? See, this is the critical thinking. You, I, no, you got to ask. This is a scenario. Because if, if I need a three, I'm not, I'm naming somebody you ain't never heard of. Okay, if you, you need a bucket, who you going to? I need a basket. Mm hmm. Somebody you play with. Man to man or they in the zone? Yo, we got to finish the interview, bro. So, I'm back at ask. They're the man of man. They're the man, man, man. man. I'm giving the ball. I'm giving the ball to my one person. No, I can't. Yo, this is crazy, B. I'm just saying. They the man. Of, they you the in man a regular man. game. You can't be like a regular game. I'ma have I, depending on where I'm at. I'ma have options. All right. I'm giving who the ball. I'm giving the ball. Get yours my, off, bro. I'm giving the brother. I'm giving the ball to my brother, Junie. Mm -hmm. Junie said, "Lamar Jones, William Junie Saunders, Mike Campbell." This Mike is Campbell, crazy. John Strickland, let, let me like just Tyrell Gray. Yo, this is crazy. This is the first I, time ever. I should have said my man team. Marcus Hall. Yo, I played with a couple of Yo, you like, you know what? We going you, you know what? Wall, the, I'm gonna call. Five thirty. Yo, look, look, this go. I'm just you going into politics. Forget about that. Nah, no, 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 no. Because you don't get a chance as us. You broke the sandwich and paws. I don't get. I, I always the kids will tell you. I grab and see you open that door. You at first thing they gonna say is what? He taking the sandwich and paws. I respect that. And you don't get a chance to get it, to throw these for these dudes. No, I played in Pro City. Right. I came down in this game. I didn't shoot the whole first three quarters because I was like, yo, hold on, my man got the mismatch. This is something I did in real life. Like, yo, here. Even when I played in 55th, with God bless the dad, Ali Mo, Kareem Reed, it was my man Bird, Pop Hunter. Yep. Um, you know, naturally, I feel like I got the mismatch always. I don't, mm. You got to Don't double sit everybody. But. I'm looking like, yo, hold up, he got this, he got that. And this is something that I always did. Mm -hmm. So when you ask me that, I gotta ask the scenario where I'm at. I mean, school, I had Chip Isaiah Francis. Mm -hmm. That was my roommate on the road. We beat, I think it was St. Francis PA, and I come down every time looking like, yo, Mike is my man. I love Mike. I, as much as I bother Mike all my life, I knew I had to push them buttons for him to do what he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You got me? But, yo, here, here, losing, go get that. Copy them, go get that. That allows you to be able to get 30 when they can't understand, when they don't know that he shoot a lot, but he be passing. You well, know? well, well, Mr. Politically Correct, Absolutely. shout everybody <laughs> out. I appreciate the time. And I left some dudes out by mistake. Anybody I forgot my back, <laughs> you know it. You know it's love, my dude. Yo, E. You Jones, Black Elvis, bottom to the love. top, Hoop City Legends. That's class. T.F.P. You already know. You know it's you know you know it's Kenny King Yo, forever. Fade to black. Sugar Hill forever. You know it's T.F.P. forever. It's O.S.L. It's forever. It's, 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 it's OSL forever. New York Lightning forever. forever. Lightning forever. Visitation forever. Yo, we are Charles Jones, and you're watching from the bottom to the top.